Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs> detectable probably so whatever new technologies they're doing we know darpa um just recently uh sent one up it's an experimental um satellite that has longer much longer arms they're trying to get a higher band which something a higher um higher band of frequency so they're experimenting with that so all these new experiments that  I'm I'm seeing it, and you know the Pentagon just setting up the new space force themselves. This is all um, being recorded in my head, like easily day after day, seeing all these things. And I am seeing all the missions that are being delayed again some more this morning. I won't get into all of them, but uh, again, more delays and everything and anything related to the moon always has a delay. It seems, and we'll be watching out for that.  Um, in the coming days, weeks, months, and years, obviously. So the first generation satellites at the end of 218, probably they said, would all have been out. So we're going to, you know, new technologies, three different types of technology that the U.S. Air Force is sending up the satellite, these satellites to experiment. So there's been a lot of experimentation. We know we've heard even, uh, you know, with the sonic booms, the experimentation over...  Um, the neighborhoods in the states to see the reactions of people how they're going to react to these sonic booms I'm mind boggled by everything that's going on it's so obvious that something big is happening it's also in the news that India busy week for them everyone's saying in India just days after the country's defense research and development organization uh, they performed an anti-missile test Uh, the space agency  Um, in India, launched a military satellite as part of a hefty 29 satellite launch. So the Indian Space Research Organization launched the Electromagnetic Intelligence Satellite at 9.27 a.m. Now hang on, the EMISAT is optimized to look for signals, right, from enemy radar. So it's been under development, they say, for five years. um, This will allow us to do now...  essentially know what kind of radar is at work on the other side based on the spectrum so could there be some kind of uh i don't know this is gonna there's gonna be a lot of conflict i'm sorry i definitely believe there is going to be a lot of conflict between the countries for whatever um you know experimental satellites they're sending up there think of it the other countries are now going to have  the U.S.'s satellites roaming around them, right? This is all part of the reason why they're also probably hiding most of the satellites or trying to hide, always to to hide the satellites. Always, always, always to hide, to hide, to hide. You know, why? Sometimes I just say to myself, they're not hiding from aliens, they're hiding from Russia or they're hiding from China. States does something, China and Russia will do the same, obviously, 
whoever's up there in space. But now, why all these launches of intelligence satellites for militaries from not just uh, the states? We're talking about, you know, Germany's involved in, the, in these space explorations now and everything. We got the sonic boom tests over Earth. I mean, there's something big and major. It's oh. I mean, it's crazy. Do you not agree with me? The technology should should have been arriving in a period of 20, 30 years. So now we did nothing for 30, 40, 50 years, and now all of a sudden, pow, space forces, um, you know, they're admitting uh, that there's uh, water on the moon, etc., a bunch of stuff. Now, maybe it's just me, but I look at these bumps side by side, first of all, before I get too carried away about the satellites and the space forces. <laughs> Look at the dark shadows, shadows, three of them right there. And uh, I could be sassy and say, uh, sarcastic and say that they're not following the other shadows. You know, often these objects that pass off the shadows are really looking like structures at times, objects, natural or not. There are, I do believe, dark objects on the surface. But of course, don't forget, we're just by the Terminator line there. And there we see again, just these anomalies. Just, I'm just pointing to them. You know, I'm not declaring anything here. Wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> uh, the moon uh, was not very wide here, but I like watching, taking a look at it anyways, because we see a lot on it along the Terminator line when it's only a crescent moon. And we're going to see as we advance towards the end, the tip of this, where we see this, I don't know, it looks like an industrial company. And again, there's lights going on and off. There is movement, there is activity up there. It's just that people are seeing lights and they're saying, wow, it's just lights. But I mean, we have, we can't rule it out. Anything we see moving up there, we have to try to find out if it's something moving. You're darn right there's something moving. Notice how everything that's UFO related or lunar research related, Anything that has to do with camouflage is always either a bright light or, you know, do you see the pattern? They have this way of camouflaging things in a natural way, I believe. Um, but nevertheless, we, we may never know, right? Some people in the community are asking me, why am I not talking about the new Space Force, USSF? Well, all I know is that Mike Pence, a couple days ago, actually said that it was like the lunar part of it all was canceled for four years, set back. No one will step foot on the moon, so they say, before 2024, 2025. We're still not there yet. Once we get there, maybe we still will not be able to go to the moon. What if there's another setback that will set us back to 2032? Which I tend to think that's what will happen but no there's something going on with uh not just the american space force guys i mean wake up look around uh, all the countries are getting involved now there's independent private companies now that are launching satellites for companies okay we didn't hear about this a few years back that's for sure that's that's confirmed and now all these new branches of military especially in, in on the state side anyways but again you know intelligence satellites every country setting them up right now to counter intelligence so what's going to happen is that there's going to be another war in space so the earth wars that we usually see will now go on in space well there's at least that'll be calming right we just have to watch out for the nice light works once in a while when those when that debris comes spiraling back to us we have no clue right that's the saddest part not knowing what's going on up there but why the need for a space force really really is ringing a bell in my ear why why this need for everyone to have a space force now the pentagon india everyone everyone's going up there levitating craters you can see clear underneath this object, it's pretty massive. This is the very small moon. Wow, guys, it is crazy windy here today. Um, snow and hail on and off all day. You see, have you heard about the us Canadians, the biggest 
weather anomaly in our entire history, in the entire history of Canada's history. Um, Alaska, it's getting warm, very warm, concerning warm. <laughs> we were talking about the north of Canada is really melting a mile a minute, literally, and we can wonder what the heck's going on, why the temperatures are so drastically um, high as compared to here, we're freezing, which it should not be that way. It should be the other way around. So let's slowly pan all the way to the end there of the banana to see what industrial companies there are. Oh, what am I saying? Uh, just wait, just wait and see what's there. I love showing these flickering lights on the surface and the activity. The activity is the lights. They are the lights. That's one major activity, sign of activity that we're seeing. But the lights aren't just flickering, they're moving around, they're changing places, some of them. But I want you to see this is always the way we see the end of the moon here when the Terminator line is there. It just intrigues me to see how that light is always there at the end with the green and the red light. Here we are, take a look at it, pretty cool. Just sitting there on the tip right, doesn't make any sense. Jeff Walker, Christina Garama Pertris, David Dismichus, Char Gordon, Christy Lindsay, Steve Towers, Jane McCammon, Susan Paul, Harold Hughes, Bill Bill Solomon. Thank you for the generous contributions, everyone.